All right, guys, we're back. So if you can see here, here's my steak, and it's got that nice juice going there. Um, it's letting I'm letting it rest. This is the fillet. See how you got that nice crisp sear. All right, so in that pan, we're gonna put it back on the heat. Uh, potatoes are at eight minutes, so they're close. Uh, I'm gonna add just a little butter to my pan. And I'm going to start cooking those onions and garlic. Alright, so get your onions and garlic open. Go ahead and toss that in. Alright, and you don't really need to cook this a whole long time. It's going to finish cooking in the sauce. The real purpose of you guys doing this is just so you can see... This is just a short order pan sauce. So typically, you know, um, oh, where's my sauce? Well, that's kind of a flop. Apparently somebody took the sauce out of my bag to come home. But anywho, um, so the pan sauce is like this. So you're gonna saute your onions and garlic and then the, the, the brown sauce I gave you is a demi-glaze. Um, it's already reduced and cooked down, so basically I want you to add your uh, onions and garlics, cook them, like sweat them basically, until you can smell them or they're aromatic. And then I'm just going to show you how to deglaze, because apparently my sauce is not here. So you're going to add your stock, or your sauce to this, turn the heat off, and then basically you just want to get all those brown bits off the bottom of the pan by swirling it around, okay? Um, and it's going to scrape all that stuff off and that's called the fond. That's like the best part And then this is just the basic pan sauce. You see the color that got? I just put water in here because my sauce was apparently stolen out of my to-go box And not stolen, but somebody grabbed the wrong sauce um, And this is just basically getting all the stuff off the bottom. But that was just the pans the the Flavor from the pan coming in there. So that that's why it's amazing and the sauce I gave you guys is really strong anyway, but Typically, I just pour this on top, but this is just water and garlic and onion, so I'm not going to. But your sauce, just put it right on top of the meat. Um, this pan will go ahead, drain out your green beans really well. Uh, those should be blanched. And then, <clears throat> pull that off the of meat. We're going to add, uh, like I said, a little bit of your Clarify to that. butter in and remember your your green beans are already cooked so I'm gonna add there's my green beans strained out add those in and then you're just gonna saute them okay salt pepper um, you've already uh, put salt in your water so that should have a good seasoning to it already but all right let's check on our uh, potatoes Check on these real quick. I'll move this out of the way. To check your potatoes, all you really need to do, oh, the green bean in there. All you need to do is take a small knife, like a paring knife, and then stab one of the potatoes. Okay. And if it pushes through, like with ease, like that, and there's no restriction on your knife, they're done. Okay. And then. Um, all you have to do is take your, your uh, whisk, if you guys have a whisk, and then hold it to the side over the stove or over the sink and dump this out, okay? So I'm going to do that real quick. And then you guys will see, I have my potatoes in here. And real simple, you just mash these like this with your whisk. I know we didn't give you guys a whisk, but my apologies. Mash these with your whisk, and you'll see how those look. And then just simply add some butter to it, okay? Add your butter. This is room temperature butter. 
and then a little bit of the heavy cream. I gave you guys all heavy cream. Don't add all of it at once. Add a little bit and then whisk this, okay? And these are whipped potatoes. And then once you get those in there, just hit your whisk on the side and you see how fluffy those are? Nice and whisked. They're delicious. Okay. My beans are cooking. And then taste your uh, taste your mash. Alright, just get your spoon or your fork, whatever you're using. Let's give them a taste. These are really good. I just need a little bit more salt. And it's literally mashed for one person. All right, you see how easy that is? And then as far as a plate presentation goes, <clears throat> you'll just take your meat, Stack these. I don't know if you can see this yet. Gonna move it down. So there's my meat. Don't mind my stove. This thing's gonna be bye bye soon. We just moved here. Um, take your meat. Just kind of put your medallions on here. And remember, this is filet mignon. This is like the the best beef you could possibly buy. Okay. Let's get your mashed potatoes, which are perfectly creamy and delicious. You know. Like this. Okay. So that way all the beef has a piece. And then your green beans. Okay. And then, voila! You have a nice dish. And honestly, if you would have had the sauce, which I have no idea why mine didn't have sauce in it, I, uh, must have given that to a student who needed it. Um, but this is what you have. And then the sauce can just put it right over the medallions or put it on the mat or on the mashed potatoes, wherever you want it. Um, and that's it. And this is uh, honestly no joke. This dish at a restaurant would probably be $35. So enjoy.